in right triangle ABC, what is the ratio in which point D divides the hypotenuse AC? So AC is the hypotenuse. We'll have to figure out in what ratio does D divide it. BD is perpendicular to AC. We'll look at the statements, right? In what ratio does it divide? So we'll have to find out. We'll have to come up with a ratio saying that the ratio is 1 is to 2, ratio is 4 is to 7, something like that. If you're able to come up with a unique value for the ratio, then the data is sufficient. Start with statement 1. It says BC equals 2BD. Let's get started with this right triangle. ABC is a right triangle. AC is a hypotenuse. Obviously, right angle is at B. They said BD is perpendicular to AC given in the question stem. D is dividing this hypotenuse AC. We need to figure out what is this ratio AD is to DC. That's our objective. Statement 1 says BC, this is BC, is equal to 2 times BD. Let's say BD is equal to an A. Then BC is going to be equal to 2A. BDC is a right triangle. Obviously, if D is, uh, BD is perpendicular to AC, BDC is a right triangle. Now, some of you will already know what is going to be the ratio. If this is 1 times and this is 2 times, you know what this DC is going to be. We will derive that for whatever it's worth. So, DC is obviously going to be equal to square of the hypotenuse, square root of the square of the hypotenuse minus BD square, which is square of the hypotenuse is 2A whole square, which is 4A square minus BD square, which is A square. So, it's going to be square root of 3A square, which is equal to root 3A. So, DC is equal to root 3A. Now, the ratio of the sides, look at it. It is 1 is to 2 is to root 3. I'll write it in ascending order of the values. The ratio of the sides of BDC is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. 1 is to root 3 is to 2 is a special property right triangle where the angle opposite to 1 is going to be 30 degrees. Angle opposite to three, root 3 is 60 degrees. And the angle, op angle opposite to 2 is a right angle, 90. Let's check out. The angle opposite to the two parts is obviously 90. The angle opposite to the 1, which is A, is therefore going to be equal to 30. And the angle opposite to the other one, which is basically root 3A, which is DC, is going to be equal to 60 degrees. So this is the first inference you've got. We have deduced that triangle BDC is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now that we have deduced this, let's do one more reduction. ABC is a right triangle. We know angle B is 90 degrees. Angle C is 30 degrees. So what's going to be the measure of angle A? That's going to be the balance, which is equal to 60 degrees. Now, BDC is right triangle. If angle BDC is 90, then angle BDA is also going to be 90. This is also right angle. If this is right angle, this is 60 degrees, then angle DBA, this part is going to be equal to 30 degrees. Look at this. All of these three triangles, ABD, BDC, BDA, all of them are 30, 60, 90 right triangles. This is going to work for any right triangle. Any measure of this, the 60 and 30 can be split in any fashion as long as BD is going to be the perpendicular to it. The same three ratios angles will be figuring out in all the three triangles. There will be similar triangles. That's how Pythagoras theorem is actually proved. right? So if you want to look at Pythagoras theorem proof, the easy way to do it is, I'll give you a site where you can go and check it out. Go to our YouTube channel called Maxtute where we have it for school people. right? YouTube.com slash Maxtute. Search for Pythagoras theorem proof. We have a detailed proof for that in this channel. Let's get going with this, right? Now, we know that the angles are in the ratio of 30, 60, 90 in all these three triangles. If the angles are 30, 60, 90, sides are going to be in the ratio of 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Let's take BD, which is opposite to this 30 in triangle BDC, to measure A units. So, DC, which is going to be opposite to 60, is going to measure root 3A. So, angle, the side opposite to 30 degree measures 1, side opposite to 60 degrees measures root 3. Now, I'm going to focus on right triangle BDA. In BDA, this BD is opposite to 60 degrees. So this is root 3 parts actually if you look at it. So the one that's going to measure opposite to 30 degrees has to be 1 by root 3 times this. So this is going to be equal to A by root 3. What were we interested in finding out? We were interested in finding out AD is to DC. So that ratio is A by root 3 is to root 3A. So cancel the A's. It's 1 upon root 3 is to root 3. Have you got a unique value? We got a unique value. Summarize this bit in a printed form in the next slide. We know that BDA is also, BDA is also a 30, 60, 90. We have established that. So if we take BD to be A, the side opposite to 60 is going to be root 3A. In this case, BD is opposite to 60 degrees. So the one that's going to measure opposite to 30 degrees is going to be 1 by root 3 times. That's going to be equal to A by root 3. So AD is A by root 3. CD is equal to root 3A. So we can reduce this ratio. I left it at root 3 is to 1 by root 3. This has been resolved as a 3 is to 1. Final objective in a data science question is, do you have a unique answer? We have a unique answer. And that ratio is 3 is to 1. Is statement 1 alone sufficient? Yes, it gave us a unique answer. 1 alone sufficient. Answer options are going to be A or D. Let's eliminate B, C and E. Let's look at statement 2. It says AC equals to AB. Let's go to the right triangle again. 
AC is the hypotenuse. The question says this is equal to 2AB. Let's say AB is equal to, I'm going to give some value. Let's take this measure to be equal to an X. So AC is going to be equal to 2X. Obviously, as we did earlier, hypotenuse is two times. One of the perpendicular sides is one time. The third perpendicular side is going to be equal to root 3X. In that case, the angle opposite to AB, which is angle C, is going to measure 30 degrees. The angle opposite to BC is going to measure 60 degrees. If this measures 30, this is going to be equal to 60. If this measures 60, this is going to be equal to 30. Do you realize, is this any different from the last right triangle that we drew? Absolutely not. In which case, if these two right triangles that we drew in statement 1 and statement 2 are the same, the ratio AD is to DC is going to be the same, 1 is to 3. But I'm going to walk you through all of those steps once more so you can consolidate it again. Right. So establish that this is a 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Which triangle? ABC is a 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Therefore, the angles are going to be 30, 60. Correspondingly, these two angles can be reduced to be equal to 60 and 30. So all three triangles, ABC, BDC and BDA are 30, 60, 90 right triangles. So that is established. So now we are going with BD to be equal to A. Therefore, the side opposite to 60 degrees is going to be root 3A. In this case, BD is opposite to 60 degrees, which means the side opposite to this 30 is going to be 1 upon root 3 of that, which is A by root 3. So AD is to DC or CD is to AD is going to be root 3 is to A by root 3 or 3 is to 1. Statement 2 alone has also given us the same thing because it ended up with the same right triangle. It couldn't have given us anything very different. So statement 2 alone is also sufficient. Each statement is independently sufficient. Answer option is choice D. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.